and welcome back to my channel um, so today I'm taking a few Instagram pics so I thought I'd bring you guys along um, a lovely lady has let me use her beautiful house so I'll show you around there a bit and I'll leave her link down in description but I've just got my friend Maddie taking the photos for me so I thought that I'd show you a little behind the scenes of my Instagram so enjoy okay guys so this is going to be our first um, location, I think. There's this beautiful blue tiled bathroom. So pretty. I think I'm gonna do a purple lounge set in here. So, let's do it. I think we got one. I'll show you guys what one I think I'm gonna do. Alright. This is Maddie. Don't, I'm not getting in that. I'm actually not getting in this vlog. I'm not getting in this vlog. <laughs> Look at me, I've got no lashes. I've got no lashes. <laughs> She's my little photographer. Um, and I think we're doing this one. It's like a little smiley. Little smiley one. <laughs> okay, and next we're doing this little this little number here, but you'll just have to wait and see, I guess. <laughs> okay, next I think we're gonna do this little corner here. Super cute. dark there too what if we just do what I don't want to do yeah like here maybe There it is, sissy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, that oh. Pen, sorry. <laughs> um, I just need to do this one lounge top. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do a selfie? Or you yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a selfie maybe. Okay, we are all done. Big success. Got everything we needed done. I'll probably show you guys the edited versions of 
these pictures. I might even show you how I like to edit them maybe. If that's something you'd be interested in seeing. But I don't know what I'm saying right now. I don't even know why I have this on. What are we doing? I thought we were wrapping it. Yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> That's a wrap, boys. That's a wrap. Good job, team. Sort of Woo! Hey, guys. So it is a few days later now, and I did tell you that I was going to show you guys a little bit about how I edit my photos. So um, I'm just chilling at home today, and I thought I would try and get that done so I can get these sent off and hopefully approved. Um, I did already have to send one off just because it was... Um, I did have a deadline um, and I'll show you guys what one it was but unfortunately that one didn't get approved so I have to fully reshoot that but this is the image that I came up with. I'll also put it on the screen for you guys so I really loved that photo. I thought it was really kind of nice and beachy but not enough of the front was shown so I have to reshoot that which is fine because obviously I want the client to be happy but I do have my lounge posts that I need to edit and so I thought I'd show you guys what I like to do edit wise but let's get straight into it okay guys so first of all I kind of go through and favorite the ones that I'm going to edit so I'm not searching through and trying to find the one so i just favorite a few i love the background and lighting of these ones so i might just chuck an edit on that um but the lighting in here is a little dark so i think i'm gonna have to brighten these ones up a bit and then i've also got um some selfies i'm going to edit because lounge sent me just the top to shoot so i thought i'd just do a cute selfie so I'll probably just chuck an effect on these ones too. But I'll show you guys what apps and what effects I like to use. So starting off, these are the apps that I use. So we use Facetune sometimes just to smooth out any kind of fine lines or dark circles under my eyes. Because you guys know by now that I have had that problem for a very long time. Constant dark circles and indents under my eyes. So I like to sometimes just smooth that out a bit. And then we usually go to Lightroom and that's if the lighting's quite dark or, you know, it just needs to brighten it up or make a, or enhance the colour a bit. And then Colour Tone is where all my effects are. So we might just start with Face Tune. And then, so it's a lot easier. Um, obviously, I've already favourited some. So we might start off with this one here. Really nice and pretty. Um, at my tan. Actually, it's looking pretty fine. But we might just smooth in this skin out just a little bit. And you can bring that down or up. And then you just press this little button here to kind of... So you can't really see much of a difference, but it all adds up in the end. And then I think that's all I'm going to really do to this one. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this to camera roll. And then we're going to go into my color tone app just because the lighting's um, pretty fine in that photo. So we don't need to do something we don't need to do. Okay, so once you have found your photo, you just go to edit. And my favorite effect I like to use is just on the Bonnie C. So the one I usually, and you can zoom this in and out to see the full photo, or, you know, not. I like to kind of make sure I can see everything. So just clicking through, I usually go seashell. Oh, sorry, I keep... I usually go seashells and just kind of tone her down a fair bit. Um, I usually bring those shadows, depending... My bring shadow is down a little bit so it's not as airbrushed. Um, temperature, if it's too orange sometimes I will bring it down. And then I love to sharpen also. And then just kind of hold down and like that to see. 
that's what it's looking like at the moment. I think that's really nice. And then just saving, and that's pretty much all I'll do for that photo. The blue, I mean the purple, sorry, um, lounge set. Now you can see in some spots my tan looks a bit patchy and, you know, I think that's like a week's worth of tan. So <laughs> we are going to smooth. I hope this size like helps you. I know a lot of people don't share their um, little tips and tricks. And you guys are always wondering how do these photos look? I mean... All right, average, and then you can just kind of, we're just going to turn that down a little bit, just to make our skin look a little smoother. And I think sometimes I do like to make my tattoos a bit darker and stand out because they can go a bit bad quality. So I'm just going to enhance that just a tiniest bit. And sometimes when there's branding, I do like to enhance that. This is the details um, effect on it, on Facetune. So I'm just going to bring out that lounge detailing. Um, what else? I think that's pretty good. So, saving to camera roll, and then I might do Lightroom in this one, doing that last photo. So, with this one, I feel like there's a fair bit of shadowing, so if we bring shadows up, that kind of brightens her up a bit. But then if you go to colour, this is kind of where I fix my tan and stuff. Now you have temperature and stuff, but I think we might just leave that. As is, if you go to mix up in this corner up here, there's all these different colors you kind of have. And you kind of click on each color that you're wanting to um, kind of change. So orange, the orange color is usually your skin. And I like to sometimes bring that down to make me look a bit darker. And then if it does go a little too orange, you can use the red. But you might just do that just a little bit. Yellows, I like to bring down the saturation, so that makes all the yellowy, orangey tones a lot more white, I guess. 